welcome back to my channel it's Yasana and if you're new then welcome and I know I've been MIA for quite some time but I came to give you guys this everyday makeup look but with the twist with the pop of lipstick I haven't gave you girls and guys a pop of lipstick in a minute and I wanted to bring you some summer vibes okay love this look and I hope you guys enjoy and if you would love to see how I achieve this look, then stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, my love. So moving on to the face. I take my Melanie Mills in bronze gold. I'm going to put this everywhere. Except for on my upper lip because I don't want it to accentuate my mustache. Look at this glow. It's amazing. I'm just going to take the leftover concealer that I used on my brows to prime my eyelids to cancel out darkness. I'm just going to blend that in. I'm just going to set that with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Now I'm going to take my NYX um, matte liner. I'm just going to line my eye and give me and give you girls a dramatic wing. So I start off by just lining my eye regularly. And then I'm going to make a line in the corner of my eye, drag it up. And connect it down. Take that same concealer to clean up because I did mess up. And um, yeah, we want it super sharp. So take that concealer with my Morphe M124. Now that we got that bomb wing liner, I'm going to move on to my face. And when I don't feel like using my expensive foundation for the day, I go with the next best thing, the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. And I love this foundation. This is in the shade Spicy Brown. I'm going to take my concealer and just buff that in on top to give me a little bit more fuller coverage around my mouth area. I find out if I put my concealer on top or under, it gives me that same look. So, whichever you prefer to do, you'll get the same outcome. Now I'm gonna take that fawn concealer again. I'm gonna run it along underneath my eyes. And this helps me to conceal it doesn't give me that bright effect, so I'm going to go over on top um, with another concealer. Drag it down a little. Down my nose. And on my forehead. And I like to take my NARS concealer um, in caramel 
to go on top of this. It's gonna give me that perfect shade, perfect coverage. And I did go underneath my liner because I'm gonna sharpen that up again. And I like to let this concealer set a little bit and then I go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in um, Chestnut. And this isn't too dark, it's just going to bronze up my face and I like that. I don't like a really harsh contour. And while my concealer is setting, I'm going to just take my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And guys, if you do not have this by now, you are missing out. This is bomb, okay? It's so lightweight. And before I blend out my concealer, I like to put that on, just blend it out, and it's just perfect. I usually use a brush for my concealer, but I have no idea where it disappeared to, so using the sponge is just as fine. I'm going to bounce back and forth with my setting brush. I'm sorry, all my brushes are so dirty. <laughs> I'm going to blend out the edges. going to make sure this is my um, real techniques damp um, sponge if I did not say that and I'm just gonna blend it out as well with this sponge and I'm cleaning up underneath that um, liner as well by going really close to that liner now I like to bounce back and forth, blending out this concealer. I feel like, I don't know, for some reason, it makes me feel like I'm doing it evenly <laughs> when I do it like that. It's probably all my head, but whatever. It, it's what works. <laughs> then I'm just going to take the bigger side um, to blend that. I'm going to take my foundation brush again just to make sure I blended out those edges very well. Now I'm taking my fave Sasha Buttercup powder. I'll just take a little bit, dab it on the back of my hand, and press it under the eye. I put the concealer. set the mouth now taking the best bronzer ever at the moment um this is the fenty beauty bronzer and i'm taking my morphe m50 no m405 and this is in the shade coco naughty i'll just take it and i'll tap it all in and then i buff it in and look at that. Look at that. Just bringing that color back into my skin. Amazing. Run it across my chin. Down the bridge of my nose. Not the bridge. The sides. Now to go back in with my Sephora Micro Smooth. I'm going to take my Real Techniques. Um, this is the setting brush as well. My contour brush. And I'm just going to um, blend out that Sasha Buttercup um, powder because I don't want flashback and by putting the powder on top of that yellow um, I won't get that flashback. I need to brush up my brows again because that setting powder I do put it over top of the beginning and then I'm going to take my Milani blush in tea rose and I'm going to lightly blend that into my skin. Now I'm going to take my Sephora mist again and drench my face. And yes, do you want to drench your face just like this? And it's like just setting so nicely into my skin and it just, oh, it just gets that perfect glow, that perfect blend. I 
perfect everything. I love it. I'm going to take my Bowman highlighter by ColourPop and a fan brush. And I'm just going to highlight the high points of my cheeks. The nose. Cupid's bow. For mascara, taking Maybelline Big Shot. This mascara works, okay? Drugstore, it works. And for the lips, I don't usually take this shade. I'm gonna take the Amore Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the shade Gorgeous. 